Hey guys, now I'm gonna give it back to you for that video. Guys, today we'll be looking at all of EA's mess ups in literally what has been since the official standard edition of the game came out. Two days EA has messed up countless times. So let's go ahead and talk about it right away. Now, guys, before we get into the post by Mutt leaks here, let's go ahead and talk about one simple thing. If you hit level 50, and you might be excited to hit level 50, because if you hit level 50, you do receive a legends pack right you receive a full legend pack for 2200 points that's awesome right well guess what you get from that legends pack well you can get a full legend now who are the legends if you guys uh, do not know we have brandon marshall right he is of course one of the legends now tell me tell me why fast why is the card art or the pack art for the full legends card the linebacker brandon marshall Guys, this is a multi-billion dollar company. Just take that in consideration. This company makes billions of dollars off of this game. And this is... This is the simplest thing you have to get right. Is just use the correct card art. The correct player. They literally have a design team. And their design team said, We need to use Brandon Marshall as the, as the pack art. Cool. Go find a picture of Brandon Marshall. And one of those guys went on Google and said, Brandon Marshall. Oh, here he is. And they used a Raiders linebacker. This used to be the Broncos linebacker. That's the Raiders linebacker. They used the Raiders linebacker, Brandon Marshall, who's not even on the team anymore. <laughs> he got cut. He is now a free agent. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. Before I rage so much. Okay. First off, the game has officially came out two days ago. It's already, in when it, before the game it officially came out, we've had countless players banned for leveling up their accounts. You can't do certain solos in Mutt right now because you could get banned. There's solos in Mutt that if you do right now, use a chance, your account will get banned and your whole entire account will get wiped. You won't everything you're grinding for, you lose instantly. Stolen players training had issues with every single content uh, content rollout so far Gave incorrect rewards There's people who were getting thousands of packs guys and let me tell you this real fast Yes to the people to I always see the comments like then there's still people who have those rewards There are people saying like oh who cares you got countless rewards. That's like 24 million coins Why are you complaining? Well, the reason why people are complaining is, first off, some people are getting banned for it. Some people are getting banned because EA gave them awards. Second off, though, some people are going ahead and EA did, quote unquote, fix it. They locked down the auction house to try to fix the issue. Well, they didn't fix the issue. What they did was they reverted some people and took away all the rewards some people they did not at all and other people they banned so it was kind of like a mixed bag you either got banned kept your rewards or you got uh, everything wiped this was a mess now a side note here to people who are saying well wh who cares if you didn't get banned and you didn't get count wiped then you're sitting there with all these rewards why are you complaining guys there's people who got like four five hundred power up passes can you imagine getting like four or five hundred power up passes? Or even let's say a thousand. No, I mean there are people with thousand packs. Imagine you get a thousand power up passes. And then you might say, okay, well, I don't care. Well, imagine you get to so many power up passes that you can't even access your binder because your binder is actually full. And oh, just quick sell. You can't quick sell a power pass. You can't. So you can't even use the game. You can't even go in your binder. Because every single time you go in Ultimate Team, it will tell you your account is full. The amount of packs you have is full. Over and over and over again. Never going to stop. And let's say you got 3,600 packs like some people did. Well, now you have... Well, not sorry. 1,000 packs some people did. Now you have 3,600 cards on your account. You can't keep selling them because your binders keep being full. You only can put up 20 cards at a time. And EA locked down the auction house. It's yeah, it's, it's that power now. So day two Madden Championship Series has been delayed. Auction House was locked. Impacted users are still locked out. 
Will they go for a triple crown? Check back tomorrow. Nonsense. He says revert or refund. Uh, also, he says that. Can you please explain why the Madden competitors and yes, the Ma there were some Madden competitors who got level bans who were leveling up and got banned for it. Then they said stuff on Twitter and they all got freed. It's it's just weird, you know. It's just really weird how the Madden competitors got freed, but the more more Madden player who got banned for leveling up did not get freed. That's interesting. Um, also, another thing I will say, and, and this is something big too, is that acknowledge the error and bulk reverts the bans. EA has not responded, had not put out a public statement about anything about leveling up your account and getting banned for it. They have put out a public statement about one thing. Well, two things. Franchise mode being broken and also they put out a public statement about the reward system going out because they locked the auction house and they had to say something about it. Other than that, they had been very, very quiet about everything. Very quiet in general. He does say right here, um, oh, and give everyone make rights. <laughs> Please don't. Please do not give us make rights. And you might say, why not? That would be awesome. We should get make rights for what happened. Guys, with how EA is playing this and how EA is doing things, their make rights would be giving everyone a thousand packs. Okay? Destroying the market. Then they're gonna what they're gonna do is they're gonna destroy the market, destroy everyone's teams and binders, and then revert everything and take everything away. It would be pointless. It would be absolutely pointless. Don't, EA, please. What we want for UEA right now is to reverse people's bans, make a statement on what happened, apologize, and honestly, I don't even know what else because anything they do will, in return, destroy us, will hurt the community. If they, if I say, oh, give us like 500, or give us a, a, a bundle of 12,000 points, everyone get 12,000 points a month. That would hurt us because somehow, speaking wise, they'd give us like freaking, I uh, they give some people like a billion points and some people zero points. So they can't get anything right at this point. <laughs> and I'm not, I, I'm usually the guy and I try my best to be the guy with EA. I try my best to be as kind of neutral as possible, right? I'm not like, I try not to hate on EA or, you know, love EA at the same time. I kind of try to be neutral, you know, look at things, both perspectives. I can't look at things both perspectives. This is really just unprofessional. <laughs> this is literally a joke right now. Like you expect this from an indie developer. You expect this from a developer that literally doesn't make any money off their game. That barely can develop a game. And then you expect this honestly from a beta or an early access copy of a game. This is a triple A title guys. I, I'm gonna end off this video right here. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.